And they're able to get the whole way up. Hey everyone, this is Vandal 6 Actual, and we're back in the Badlands once again for more Seven Days to Die. It's day 17, and once again, it might be a horde night. We'll find out in a few hours, but for now, we're as ready as we can be. So we're just going to go spend the day exploring. Today, I went ahead north and maybe east, pushing closer and closer to where we started this series. I'd love to find another trader, but that would be a bonus to simply raiding a POI or two, then fending off the horde. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, we're going to pick up this road here and just head north. If we look at the map, this is the one that takes us up into the next Trenton town. I want to head over to the east side here and see what's over there. And once we're over there, uh, if we see any roads that head to the east to go further east, we'll go ahead and take that. Just see what's over there, because uh, that's going to get us closer, like I said, to where we originally started this series before dying on, on the night of, of day two. Um, and like to to see what's between where we are and where we uh where we were to begin with all right if we live long enough i'd like to go ahead and hit that apartment building today is obviously not the day for that because that is a uh, uh that's a poi that definitely is going to be a more than a one day raid and we need to be armed to the teeth going into that place it is an absolutely enormous place that's the that's the construction site with the bear underneath yeah, that's a possibility for today. Although we didn't bring the AK. I think I'd rather have the AK to do that one. Uh, that's a driveway leading over there. So we've got the firehouse right there. Over to the left. Uh, the more modernized one. Uh, we've got the big church. Depending on how uh, eager I am to, to go after something there. Okay, so I don't see any roads heading further east right now which is interesting we have one here that's going north anyway let's just follow it let's see where it goes i don't know how far away from the desert we are right now that may be desert mountains up there but i'm not sure it doesn't look like it no those are not desert mountains up there but uh, these are kind of the areas where you would find a trader usually is outside of a town more in this general vicinity. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, go say hi to Cowboy Bob here. Are you feeling good? No? I'm sorry. Alright, what we really should do here is get up to high ground somewhere and see what we can see. Uh, that actually, that is desert ahead of us. That is desert directly ahead of us. And that's a dog or a wolf behind us. That's a wolf. He's going to leave us alone. We'll leave him alone. It's a uh, pretty random garage. Well, let's get in there and see what's inside. All right, a level two pickaxe is better than what we have and some forged steel. So let's take the trophy for now. And we are just going to go ahead and scrap this iron pickaxe. And we have now switched up to level two. So this, this is already worth stopping for. All right. And we've got a utility worker in here. Oh, and a Mo. Or not a Mo, an Edgar. <laughs> One of these days I'll get your name right. Hey, Ed. Oh, needs repaired. That's why it won't switch. Why it won't swing it. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just do that. Can I have that back? All right, I got an ammo pile. What do we have twenty-six. I'll take it. And let's see some trash. Glue. More trash on the floor here, and then two cabinets, nothing in that trash. And we got a water, which 
We got two waters, which we're just gonna go ahead and drink straight away here. No, we're gonna be a little overhydrated. No biggie. Oh, oh, we already have that one. All right, well, we'll grab it, and if we happen to find another trader, we'll go ahead and sell it to him. I did not grab my tokens. Dang, God, did I? No, I did not. Oh, that sucks. I meant to grab those on the way out, so if we find a trader, there's not a whole lot we can do with him. Hey, James. Stay there. Don't get up. Oh, oh, what's that up? Is that a traitor? I believe that's a traitor. All the way up here on this hillside. <laughs> All right. All right, eyes, don't be fooling me now. Don't be fooling me now. And of course there's a uh, vulture there too. And we are sweltering right now because we're dressed for, for cooler climbs. But, uh, instead we're out here in the desert, so... Let's see, we... Alright, where are you? Did I run him over? I may have. Oh! Swinging for the fences! I love it. What else do we have up here? Uh, I am going to very quickly take off my coat all right we got a crackhead coming up over here let's uh and yes tonight is going to be the horde night that had to hurt all right a working stiff box i will absolutely take that so far this turned out to be a pretty decent uh Pretty decent trip over here. Ah, crappy wrench. Spoke too soon. Alright, what else do we have over here? We do have some iron ore if we needed it. And anything over here? There is almost... No, usually there's something under there, but... Not today. Alright. We, uh... Let's see, nothing there. I gotta remember not to accidentally go and sell that, uh, that coat. I'm going to get up to the trader here, and I don't, and I think he's at right up that road. Yeah. Road, quote unquote, whatever the heck that thing is. All right, we got some tokens there. Let's, uh, let's get up this hill, this uh, <laughs> gently paved area. Where is the trader? I know I saw him. How are you up this way, laddie? All right, do we have anything in the bike at the moment? No. Oh, jeez. Stay down. All I wanted to do was pick up the dadgum bike and walk up the hill. Why do you have to cause such problems? Maybe it's over this way. Maybe I didn't go far enough. Hey, Arlene. You know what? Let's go ahead and get ourselves some aloe. And make ourselves some aloe cream and heal up just a little bit. Where are you? There he is. I knew I saw one up here. All right, give me an egg, give me an egg, give me an egg. I need eggs. How am I supposed to make bacon and eggs if you don't give me any eggs? I finally figured out the distance I got to be from one of those things. When I swing, to have him not be able to swing immediately back and hit me. Let's uh, continue to look around the outside here. Crap, we can't. Oh, what's this? The art of mining. Take 50% less damage from collapsing mines. Eh. I've had better. I mean that in the most family-friendly way possible. 
Uh, right, meat stew. That we are definitely taking home with us. Or eating while we're here. One or the other. Alright, this is closed. We can check it. A chili dog recipe. I'll take it. And what's in the desk? Flashlight. I can sell you. Alright. Nothing else in this place. I believe there's a bird's nest on the roof or something, but... I'm not going to go all the way up there just to get some feathers. All right, we're going to go ahead and sell what we can because we're totally loaded, over encumbered right now. And then I'll go ahead and check the rest of this place, see what I can find. Did I close that door? I generally close doors. Yes, I did close it. All right. Alright, and we will check his stuff in a second, but I do want to pick his his safe here. Come on. Get me there. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh! So close. Oh! And it only took three. Alright. What do we have? Ooh, grenades. A level four hunting knife. A, uh, another junk turret, iron crossbow, crossbow bolts, iron knucks. All right, we are going to take it all, and we're going to repair the knucks, and we're going to repair this guy, and oh, he sell that sells for so much. We're we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna repair that. We're gonna repair this, and well, we can sell the mod here. Um, Gravedigger mod. Can I put the Gravedigger mod on? Yes, I can. I can put it on the on the knife. Ho ho ho! 644 for a knife. All right, you can bet your rear end we're selling all of this stuff. All right, talk to me, Bob. Let's see. Sell you that. Sell you that. Sell you that. Sell you that. Big money and the grenades. We're gonna hang on to those. All right, so we have 1575, even though we didn't show up with anything. And what do you have in your inventory? Let's take a quick look. Anything worth buying? I've looked through his entire inventory. It sucks. Hello, all the, the entire regular inventory. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, anything. Anything at all. Hunter's Journal. Do 10% more damage against mountain lions. As much as I'd like to, I don't care. All right. He has pretty much nothing that I want right now. No ammo, aside from some AP. Uh, well, he does have some shotgun slugs. They're only 40 apiece, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and buy those, because we'll need them later on down the road. We're not going to use them anytime soon, but... Um, let's check over here. All I saw was... Oops. Oh, didn't click on the right one. All right. Ammo. All right. Yeah, we don't need Magnum and the, the AP... Uh, how much is that going to cost us? Yeah, we can't buy all of that anyway. Um, so let's uh, let's just walk on out of here with what we've got. Let's find what else we can in here. And then we're going to have to start heading back home fairly soon. Uh, just because, you know, it is Horde Night. So we need to make sure that we have time to get back to our place, pick up all of our stuff out of our, our uh, fighting chest, and, and get over and get ready. All right, spent mixer is functional. I don't want a functional one all the way out here. And the chem station is functional. I would actually prefer to not have functional ones right now, but that's just my luck. And the forge is working too. So just my luck, when I want these things to be broken, they're not broken. I think that's everything that I want to sell right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat this in a minute. But, uh, all right. Let's get on out of here. Anything? Any red tea in here? No. That's really about the only thing that I care about out of one of those right now. So let's get out here. Let's see who has come to visit. And oh, it's a biker dude. And he's down. All right. Where's our bike? Where? Oh, the bikes are. <laughs> I'm carrying the bike. And let's get on down the hill. Uh, we can hit a few of these pl these small places here real quick. Uh, like this place right here is basically nothing. And there's nothing there. Alright, this is Earl's.
Anybody to sneak damage here. There we go. Man, Roger's down. Small food pile, get a ration out of it. And is there anything up here? Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. Let's get out of here. Thanks for nothing, Earl. Appreciate it. All right, let's get back on our bike and head on down the road. Let's go for a very loud raid. Going in shotgun style. Crap, we gotta go this way. Oh, we're really gonna be pushing it. Well, we fell all the way down and big mama. How are you? I have never been in this place before. Nothing in there. All right. Let's raid it as quickly as we can. Just grab and go. All right. Batter up. All right. We got a safe back here. Try to get in as quick as we can. Somebody right outside of here. And they're going to start trying to bust in here any second. There we go. They are running out of lockpicks. <laughs> Just in case there was something behind me. All right. Let's see if we can help out here. All right. Let's make sure we're re reloaded here. And we're just going to continue to... Here we go. Come on through. Marlene, you're really bad at this. Or you're Darlene. Oh, for the love of Pete, let me in. I don't know how many that cost us. For seven. Seven, sh seven rounds. That's all we got out of it. And in the Shamway crate, we got an egg out of it at least. What's in this? All right. Not terrible, not great. And I think that's it. All right. We got to get out of here. We are running short on time, and we got a long way to go to get back home. Oh, crap. Where did they come from? They're still coming. Oh, crap. Holy crap. And there's more. Go down, James. Well, hey, we leveled up out of all of that at least. All right, let's see how we have to go to get home. And where did that airdrop came, come in? Okay, that airdrop came in on the way home. So we're just going to ride straight toward the airdrop until we get there. Here's the airdrop. And okay, not bad. We got a nail gun schematic out of it. So I'm just going to use that straight away. We got some other, some good medical supplies and some more ammo. So all good things. Is that another trader? Is that? A, no, that's not a trader. No, that's one of those. Kind of weird places. Okay, where are we? We got another airdrop right up here. We can get there. If it's not too far up into these hills. All right, we're going to get to this and then we're going to be pushing it to get home. But we do have some food on us right now. So at least if we have to eat, we don't have to go sorting through stuff at the base. All I need to do is just go drop stuff off 
grab what I can, and get out of here. All right, this may not have been my greatest idea coming up this way, but it'll do. I mean, it's we still have four hours till it hits, and right there's the northern town. So we're only about, at most, an hour away from home at this point. This series, so, I mean, we're, you know, it's been eight days since we fought the, uh, the last horde, eight in-game days. It's been, what, seven or eight weeks now, I think, um, since we actually fought that horde. And by fought that horde, I mean we basically cowered on the roof of a house because what we tried to do to the place was what we ended up doing in the current place and fortifying we were going to fight from inside, but we did a really horrible job of it. Um, my only concern with the way that we've got the place set up right now is if they were to go around the back of the house for whatever reason, Sky went all funky there, if they were to go around the back of the house for some reason, and beat on the walls. We wouldn't know that they were getting in pretty much until they were there. And that could be a bad thing for us. All right, so that's our that junk turret ammo is going to have to last us cuz that's what we have. Um I do have some med kits that I'm going to go ahead and grab here just to have them with us and we're full on bandages. I want to eat we should be good on fluids, so I'm not worried there. Got all of this stuff, or more than enough medical supplies, but uh, I do want to go ahead and grab the rest of these iron arrowheads that I made and make crossbow bolts, make more junk turret ammo, grab everything from in here. And the last thing is, I'll take my mods off of this. I guess that one's better on power attack and durability. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these back on here or on this one, and gonna drop that in there. And it's time to head on over. And I'm thirsty. I was overhydrated earlier, and now I'm thirsty. All right, so I want to take this with me just to be on the safe side. All right, so I need to pull up one more on this. Then I can grab that. Right. Here we go. All right, so I've gone through here and I've fortified just that high on the rest of this, uh, these, these wood walls here. Just one extra level, just for a little extra warning, a little extra time to, to work if, if, uh, if they start busting through. Get Junximus out here. Here it comes. Hear them. And they're beating on the side of the place. Oh, crap. They're not beating where I want them to. They're on the wrong dadgum side. Oh, jeez. Not where y'all were supposed to be. Oh, 
Maybe they'll come from the other side of the house or the building a little bit later. But all that prep work and this happened. They go around the wrong dadgum side of the place. Now where are they? Not where I want them to be. Ah, right there. Okay. Couple of toms, three toms. <laughs> Bunch of Amway salesmen or something. And now they're back over here. Well, fortunately, we built this thing up here. That at least gave us a place to stand while they came over here and did this. So we're going to have to totally rethink what we do for a base the next time. Maybe it's just... It's, this isn't a, you know, the small trailer home, so... Maybe it's too big of a, uh, a surface area to be able to do this kind of a base. I don't know. Disappointed in the way that this turned out, but... You know, yeah. To live and learn. Well, junks just went off. They're around the front. Some of them have found their way up here. All right, I think we're... We might be fighting. Oh, jeez, they're in. They're already inside. Where did they get through? Ah, the dogs. Dogs got over, that's all. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, jeez, they got the whole way through down here. I didn't bring any cobble to repair that thing. Crap. We aren't even to midnight yet. I reloaded this thing. I know I did. Oh, crap. Ed, okay, he fell back down. I'm bleeding. And we leveled up. Oh, and they're through back here, too. Oh crap, they're in. They're in. Let me go take care of what's outside. Roger got all the way in, and now we get vultures. Whew. This has truly not gone the way I expected it to. They are now completely inside the base. Yeah, they're just walking right on in. So, let's see here. And they're able to get the whole way up. Yeah. 
Oh, I am almost out of ammo in this thing, too. Oh, crap. All right, we do have this guy. We do have the SMG. Man, this is a big horde. It's only the second horde. This has been enormous. Well, I do hope that y'all that y'all are enjoying this. Because it has me stressed to crap right now. Blown through all of my 762 ammo. They are destroying my, the inside of my base. My horde base. Alright, is that the end of the waves though? It's possible. That there are no more coming. It seems reasonable based on the number that we've seen. Good grief. Oh, well, we're down. Not shot. I think that's the end. And not the end of me, but holy cow. That did not go the way that it was supposed to. All right. Well, we spent a lot of resources fortifying this place and a lot of time fortifying it, and it failed miserably. I think that this place is just too big. Had this been a, just a regular trailer, I think everybody would have come right up here to the front, but um, maybe, maybe not. They just happened to come from the back side here to begin with, and that's where they all piled up, was right here in this spot. And then they came in from right here and started beating this to crap, too. So, all right. Well. <sighs> We survived, and we can uh, <laughs> lick our wounds. They got in here and did some some banging around in here. All right, well, while I'm standing here, do I have my wrench on me? I have a wrench on me. So I'm going to swap that out. I'm just going to go ahead and take this thing, because at this point I have absolutely no intention of coming back to this place. So I'm going to go ahead and wrench down a few things, get some iron, get some other stuff and head on home and call it a uh a bad but still fortunate night because this did not go didn't go according to plan but we're still alive we did have a nice tense moment when they got all the way up to the the roof but there that's what we have to hit but yeah, it was uh, it was tense when when those two got up there on the roof, and especially since I had to reload just about the time they got there. Um, that could have been time, but <laughs> but uh, we're still alive, still alive and kicking. You know, the funniest part was I was worried about them coming in through. Uh, excuse me, coming in through um, one of these rooms here, and then busting through the wall while I was busy trying to to defend and i would see it and they'd get right on through and tap dance on my spleen i never considered that they would just bust through the outside wall like that you know again you, you live and you learn and you know we, we try to come up with something better for the next door night let's take this and we will call this house clear and useless All right, we are back home. 
So uh, it's almost daylight again. So we're going to go ahead and end the day here. Thank you so much for watching. Your support truly means a lot to me. I love hearing from you. So drop a comment here and let me know how you like the series. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to know when the next video is available, click the subscribe link and hit that notification bell too. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. That's at Vandal6Actual. I can't wait to bring you more videos of 7 Days to Die and other games, but that'll have to wait for next time. Until then, this is Vandal6Actual. Out.